T Dog. Right now, I'm heading to uh, Team Ancusto Power Sports Southwest. Not too far from where I live. It started yesterday, which is on a Friday. It's Saturday now. But they're holding the Ducati season opener for 2018. So I'm going there right now. Go hang out, you know, eat some eat some hors d'oeuvres. Hopefully, uh, ride a Ducati or two. It'll be the first Ducati I've ever rode. Whichever Ducati it is that I'm, you know, end up riding. Would I like to jump on like the new, what was it? The uh, V4 or whatever, the new one that they, that they just came out with? I don't know, I'm, I'm still new to riding and all that and, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I know my limits. I don't, this will be, if I jump on a sport bike, first off, that will be my first time on a sport bike. So, inexperienced right there. Never jumped on anything bigger than a 600, so I'm just trying to be logical about it, minimize risk and whatnot, as much as I would like to uh, jump on one of the bigger bikes. But yeah, but anyway, so on my way right there, hopefully I can have some fun. Eventually. There we go, that's where they are at. Over there. Is that a monster? I don't know. I'm not really too familiar with Ducatis to be honest. This is hot. This is a monster right here. A21, that's hot. I've talked shit about Ducatis before in the past. Mostly because of their spotty reliability reputation, but honestly, I think they're sexy bikes. Regardless. Yamahas, BMWs, or ooh, it's the X10R. That's hot. Man. Here we go. What's up? I'm not really that comfortable riding like the bigger bikes, the leader bikes and all that stuff, so until then, plus I'm actually really interested in getting a naked bike for uh, a second bike, uh, you know, so the Ducati Monster is definitely, I mean, the Ducati Monster is a naked bike, so it makes sense that way. There's not one on the, on the showroom floor, but uh, I think there's a 1200 and a 7-something. Here is the 797, which I guess is like similar to it, but yeah, it's more or less what I'll be riding later. They're running a little bit behind, I think like half an hour, so it'll be a little bit. So I'm, until then, I'm just gonna chill, got something to eat or something while I wait. So. A few moments later. All right, Ducati Monster M821. That's what I'm riding today at this test group ride. At this test ride, group ride, whatever you want to call it. But other ones out here, like the new V4S, X Diavel. I think that's the X Diavel. It's one of the, the Diavels. That signature Ducati sound. Oh, I love it. And what else is out here? I think some Multistradas. Uh, Panigale's out here too, I don't remember. But hey, let's look at this. I 
I also contemplated her hyper motard because I like I like super motos. Uh, Ducati, the Diablo is awesome, but I want something different from a cruiser style. And uh, honestly, a naked bike is one of my top choices for a second bike. So, of course, as a Kawasaki guy, I would like a nine or a Z900. But you know, I'm open. You know, I'm open to any any brands really. All right, we're getting ready. Let's start this thing. Damn, look at that. Well, I can't flat foot it. <laughs> Gear indicator right there. Okay, this is gonna be weird. I'm getting used to a sit position like this. Oh my god, that's awesome. Woo. Thing's got some get go. Adjust the mirrors a little. Uh, brakes are really good on this thing. They bite really, really quickly. The clutch, though, it doesn't seem to bite till the very end, though. Exciting, I'm not gonna lie, I'm pretty excited. This is awesome. I get off the throttle, it doesn't it doesn't engine brake like violently like the Vulcan S. Oh my god, that get go. Let's go. Woo! Oh. Definitely feel the difference in power <laughs> compared to my Vulcan S. Now, granted, I'm still new to riding. My experience with other bikes is very, very small, so this is probably nothing compared to other bikes. Yeah, boy! Damn, those brakes are good. It's still pretty weird leaning forward, or like sitting, the sitting position, not really the leaning forward part, but the just the seating position really legs all you know scrunched up and whatnot but I mean it, it's not bad it's not too small and it's not too big some of y'all already know that I lean forward on my Kawasaki Vulcan S a lot I mean it's a, it's a neutral position riding cruiser but I like leaning forward a lot oh man there's Definitely some good pull, even in sixth. Nice.
rice box. <laughs> <laughs> that dude trying wheelies and stuff on that Panigale. I will say, since this is a different sitting position, my, I'm definitely feeling it a little bit on my... Uh... Okay, lean and lean and... I'm definitely feeling it in my arms a little. Oh, oh shit! <laughs> Jesus, I didn't even realize I was going 90 or hitting 90. Go lean. Oh shit. Definitely feel a little bit of vibrations in my hands, that's for sure. So some, some bar weight in or bar end weights and you'll be fine. Slowly getting used to this brake, the sensitivity. Ooh, this thing is, this thing is nice. It's not even the fastest one here. is fun. Only thing I don't really like is the clutch. It doesn't engage until like the very end. There we go. Woo! Man. Man, that thing was fun. Bam. God. Oh no, the seed has been planted. I'm gonna want one now. God damn it. So, I just got back from the scoop ride and riding the Ducati M821, the Monster A21. And I signed up for another one with another bike, a different bike. But y'all will find out what that is on the next video. So, yeah, stay tuned for part two of this Ducati season opener here at Team Mancuso Power Sports Southwest.